Hail, this is Byron from Bal Sagoff. And this is Johnny from Bal Sagoff, and you're watching Get in the Pit. TV. Hello, Byron. Hello. Hello, Johnny. Hi. So, it's been 15 years and you have never been in Finland. How is this possible? Well, you know, um, just one of the places we never got to. Uh, we'll play wherever we're booked. Uh, no promoters came forward. Apart from there was uh, a festival a few years ago. I think it was called Tusca. Uh, and that, that just didn't happen uh, for various reasons. But uh, that was the only chance of all the years that we'd had to play in Finland. Uh, but we're here now. That is fucking awesome that you are here. That was indeed Tuska Festival and, um, well, I guess it was because of uh, Tonic Chronicles was on critical phase, basically. Exactly, you know, I mean, we, we, were, we were at a critical phase in the writing, Nuclear Blast were breathing down our necks, they were saying that we need this album, uh, otherwise you guys aren't going to get a release until something like 2007. Uh, so we were like, okay, yeah, okay, we, we just had to concentrate fully on the writing and the recording of that album. Otherwise, you know, people might still be waiting for it now. Well, it's never enough to wait for a good album, is it? Well, I hope so, yeah. Um, basically, you know, I was uh, wondering about the um, all the lyrical stuff. So tell us a bit about the stories behind all the six albums, because all of them sort of uh, hang up on some point to each other. Exactly, yes. Well, to keep it brief, um, all the stories of all the six albums are connected um, to some degree or another. Uh, I tend to look at it all as one, one large ongoing album. Uh, and the six, the six albums are various chapters in the same ongoing saga. Um, the world of the lyrics spans countless thousands of years. Uh, different eras, such as the sword and sorcery era, uh, the sort of recorded history era, and then the far future era. So basically, we have uh, we have almost an unlimited playground of of uh, conceptual possibility, wherein these stories can take place. Uh, so yes, they're all connected uh, to a greater or lesser degree. Uh, there's been much of references, uh, well, at least some, uh, to computer games as well, and uh, one, w what I've understand that Johnny has been also doing uh, some composing of music in a computer game. So tell uh, us a bit about that. Uh, that was a guy from LA who was into the band, and he was getting into, he wanted to get into video games and, and TV and all that, that side of things. So he got got in touch with me. I'd never done like a soundtrack before, and I I basically did a, a hell of a lot of music for that and basically that's done and dusted and it's in their hands now to release it i don't i don't think it's out yet but it's again it's like it's a bit like world of warcraft it's a massive thing and you know it, it's it, it's not out yet but i did that and uh, it was a good experience how about computer games uh in usual within the band are you fun of uh, lots of computer games we all are yeah, yeah we all Absolutely. play them yeah I mean, like my taste in computer games might be different to Byron. He, like, he likes like the Street Fighter stuff. Well, I like RPGs mostly, uh, that kind of thing. Japanese RPGs, that's my favourite kind of game. Uh, how about World of Warcraft? <laughs> Everybody seems to be playing that. Yeah. We have played it. I, I've played it. Um, our bass player is really into it. He's like levelling up all the time. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we play it. I've got an Alliance character and I've got a Horde character. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Um, tell us something about this uh, sponsorship that you have with Battle Orders. And, well, nowadays, I read that it's not that easy to uh, carry out these weapons anymore. So, how is the situation? It is, I mean, the Battle Orders sponsorship was something I came up with uh, back in about 1996. I was kind of thinking, what would be a cool sponsorship for this band? that wasn't like ordinary one like guitars or cymbals all that kind of thing so I thought about weapons because like the essence of the band has to do with that kind of sword and sorcery aspect plus I have a background in reenactment uh, and that, that sort of thing so we approached uh, a company called Battle Orders Limited who like distribute replica weaponry 
not just historical ones, but uh, ones from movies, TV shows, that kind of thing. If you like fantasy stuff, fantasy swords, and mm. we, we took them all around Europe and they yep. became like stage props. And they did, stuff. yeah. And it, it looked great. It was good. It was good. I mean, that that's that sponsorship now, it's, it's run its course. Like we, we haven't got that anymore. But I've still got all the weaponry. But yeah, trying to bring them yeah, across difficult. on it's planes and stuff. Weapons across, yeah. especially in the light of recent events. Yeah, I mean, the, before 2001, it was pretty. It was okay, but then, like um, after that, it, it became pretty hard just to just just to get them. So basically, we've stopped taking the weaponry to um, international shows. We more or less intend just to use them for domestic shows back in Britain. So does this mean that we won't see any weaponry on stage tonight? That's true, yes. Not unless somebody maybe has one which they can lend me. A bit of short notice and everything, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, there has been something uh, that you, uh, you've been uh, writing short stories and uh, planning some graphical novels. And how about a fantasy book or something? Do you fancy writing something like that? Absolutely, yeah. We are, uh, well, I'm working on that at the moment, um, various kind of projects of that kind. A uh, collection of short stories, um, a sort of glossary, expanded glossary, an illustrated A to Z, um, and of course the graphic novels, the mini comics, which I'm working on with Martin Hanford, who painted our last three album covers. Um, so yeah, that is happening. Um, it'll just be a case of deciding what format to release them in, whether they'll be kind of free on the internet, whether uh, people might subscribe to them or I'll just like give them out for free or there is some actual interest from old style physical book publishers to maybe get them out as well. So uh, there are some possibilities about that. So hopefully people should be able to see some previews of those pretty soon.